Hello, everybody, and welcome to my zero mana deck tech with Eskia, God of the Tree, uh, and also Prismatic Bridge. Usually, we're going to get out Eskia, God of Tree, but ideally, with this deck, we want to get the Prismatic Bridge. And then, after that, the Prismatic Bridge will then get us something big that we can use to swing out and do some really cool stuff and win the game, because the card is super powerful. This is an ideal scenario and will probably never happen. What will likely happen is that you will be struggling to get mana the whole game. The entire deck is based on low CMC trying to get mana uh, the best it possibly can because there is no land. I will point out Mitch from the Commander's Quarters uh, tried to do this. However, I took a look at that deck and he put a cards like Vastwood Fortification in it. Guess what? It's a land. It clearly says land. He put land in a deck that he said was zero land. That's that's a blatant lie. I would never lie to people, unless I do. Uh, but land is dumb, so I want to go to space. Uh, looks like Mitch has been proven wrong uh, by me. Get out of here, my former intern. Uh, anyways, yeah, so a bunch of low-cost cards. And I know you're wondering, how are we going to play these cards? Well, there are some cards that just get you mana for free. Now, none of them are good, and most of them are extremely expensive, but that's okay. Because hopefully nobody is dumb enough to make this absolute mistake of a deck. Uh, 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 just one second. There we go. Ur Urza Saga is not a land. I want you to look at Urza Saga and tell me that's a land. Look at it. Have you? That's not a land. That's an enchantment saga, and I will refuse to hear any other opinions. Uh, seven out of ten times, you're probably going to have no source of any mana in your opening hand, and you'll just kind of sit there uh, just wishing that you could play the game and that you didn't spend a lot of money on this deck. But, you know, other than that, you know, the deck is pretty good. Uh, also, we have Phyrexian mana. So if you can't pay with mana, you can pay with your life, uh, just like real life. Uh, anyways, Planeswalkers to generate mana. Just any, literally anything. It doesn't matter how much money we spend, we just, some way to get mana. It, the deck is very expensive. The deck, it's $2,243. This is an expensive deck. Do not, please, for the love of God, don't build this. That's very expensive. Anyways, but yeah, we're just trying to get whatever we can by any means possible because there's no other way to get it because this deck is stupid and everybody really wanted me to make it for a really long time. Anyways, moving on. Uh, also, there's some cards that you can reveal for your opening hand. And if you do, you get cool effects because, you know, you're not going to have mana to get any effects. Uh, and a bunch of more uh, cheap cards. Uh, also, these cards have madness, so if you go to your max hand size and discard them, you can play them. See? And because if you have nothing to play, you can play these. I thought ahead. Uh, Serum Powder to get a mulligan to do literally anything. Uh, yeah. Bunch of cheap cards like this. Zero cost artifacts, you can play them anytime. And, oh yeah, and also we have these, uh, Ley Lines, which, once again, opening hand, same thing. Uh, a bunch of cards that you can cast with suspend cost. Uh, and this, and a bunch of cards you can cast without paying their mana cost, because, you know, that's what this deck is all about, not having mana. So, yeah, you have a lot of turns, like, if, yeah, so, it's, like, it's a, it's a good deck, I think. You know, you can exile a blue card from your hand, pay one life, and you can play this card. See, like, you don't need mana to play Magic the Gathering, you just, it's just really, really recommended that you have it. Uh, oh, yeah, also land destruction, because I thought it was really funny. Uh, fun fact, a uh, majority of viewers are not subscribed, so if you can subscribe, it's a massive help uh, to make these. Uh, but thank you all for watching. I appreciate your viewership, and uh, see you next time.